Hello everybody, and welcome to uh, Tim's Toy Box. It's been a while, and I got some more toys. Uh, I've been going to flea markets, I've been going online and stuff like that. I've uh, been doing a lot of collecting, so let's see what we've got. This one is actually from uh, eBay. I'll pick this up, and let's dump it out and see what we're dealing with. So this is actually a pretty good lot that I picked up. Um, this ran about $35, I believe, and we got a just ton of comic book from both DC and Marvel. And we also got one thing that I really wanted to get, and I'm going to cover that last. So let's go ahead and start uh, by noting what we got. Uh, first and foremost, I got this great uh, 1989 movie version of Batman. Batman's battle against crime never ends. And now you can bring the action home. Batman, ha ha, you missed. Yeah, but I only missed once. And of course, if you know anything about this figure, you know that uh, it sold a bunch when that Michael Keaton Batman came out. It looks nothing like Michael Keaton, uh, but it does uh, still have the cape and still have this battering accessory grappling hook thing. So that's nice. Um, moving on, another Batman. This is when it got a little weird, guys. I think this is a much newer one here. I uh, don't know exactly the year on this. Let me check. Okay, it's not that much newer. This is only from 94, so I don't know. They were already losing their damn minds at this point. Batman is all about stealth, and I don't know. This doesn't look too stealthy with the metallic paint. Um, this is an older version of the Joker. This is not the movie version. This is from the Super Friends line, I believe. Uh, was that the line in the 80s? So this was uh, 1985, 86, something like that. And uh, he's got this, I don't know if it's a, he's beating somebody with a cane or something. Maybe it's the Jason Todd thing. So I don't know. I doubt that they told the kids about that. Uh, this is one I was actually kind of excited that was in the lot. Uh, this is Hal Jordan's Green Lantern. This is from the same, I believe it's the Super Friends line. Let me see what year exactly. I can't find. I can never, they put the years on different parts of these. And this one is, oh, there it is. Yep, 1984, it says. Hmm, thought it was a little later than that. Yeah, so... Uh, this is actually one that uh, my grandma had bought me one time, so that's pretty nice. And look, he has the lantern, so there we go. Uh, I believe, yeah, he's got the same motion that the Joker has. Nice little uppercut action there. A uh, little bit newer version here. We've got the uh, Robin from the, uh, I believe this is the mid-90s. This is around the time when the uh, animated adventures were going on. So he's got his cape and everything. He's got some kind of weird... I think he's a motorcyclist here or something. Actually, he might be the guy that drives this, or this might be actually this Batman, I think. You know what? That looks like it fits. Yeah, so, I don't know. This is a little bit too far in the line for me, so uh, we'll have to do a little bit of investigation onto that. <clears throat> so, moving on, it looks like the rest of them, for the most part, except for this... This is obviously a Scarecrow, and I believe this is from the animated series, too. So we've got two of the animated series, uh, the Robin and the Scarecrow, and he's got this... They all had these motions back in the day, and, and can I just say that most of these figures are in really good shape as far as the paint and everything. Um, looking good, and uh, yeah, it looks like if you shine a light into this, the eyes actually glow, so that's pretty cool little action. And that is all for the DC. I also have various Marvel characters. This is a, uh, looks like some kind of Spider-Man that might be a, into some playset or something. This is not a standalone figure, I don't think. I've got uh, this Doc Ock, which I've already, I've already got this version. But, wow, that is a nice figure. It's got really tight joints. The painting, paint is really good on there. So these are all going to display really well. I'm going to be selling the uh, the doubles. Speaking of doubles, here's a terrible. I was just saying how they were in good shape, and then I've got this. Look at that. It looks terrible. This one is going to go and sell very cheap. Look. 
Got a nice Gambit figure here. I don't have Gambit, I don't think. Uh, at least not with his terrible trench coat. I don't know what horrible plastic. This must be vinyl. It's got terrible texture, but not a bad Gambit figure. He does have some, uh, some paint issues up here near the face. And there is something wrong with this leg. I think the action is a little broken on it, so it's hard to... There it goes. Locked in place. And a weak-ass kick. So... Uh, Juggernaut already got this guy also, but uh, his action is still pretty good. And uh, this is actually a really good looking Juggernaut. So we'll have to see if uh, he looks better than the one that I have already in my collection. There we go. Little uh, mid 90s Wolverine here. So I've actually been. There you go. This is the uh, yellow and blue, which is actually his original costume. A lot of people uh, in my age group thought it was the uh, brown and yellow was his first one. But nope, it's, it's that one. Uh, and from uh, one of the best movies that came out this year, uh, Morbius. Wow, what a, what a thrill ride a minute that was. Uh, everybody, of course, knows about that classic catchphrase, it's Morbin time. That's when it really starts to pop off. But uh, here is the living vampire, Morbius. Uh, wow, he looks nothing like Jared Leto. Look at that. And uh, this is interesting. So apparently he can change his appearance here. But it's broken, it looks like. He's showing half vampire, half human the whole time. So we'll have to see if we can fix that. Uh, continuing with the Marvel, this is also, I, I think it's... It's got to be some kind of playset because these are very small figures and they're not very articulated. But this is obviously Peter Parker uh, slash Spider-Man. It looks like he transforms. Yeah, this is the same thing. It, it looks like he... So I don't know what it is. They're doing a lot of uh, transformational stuff in this Marvel line. And of course, uh, finishing up our Marvel run on this lot, we have uh, Professor Xavier in his handy dandy chair. I actually do already have this uh, particular figure so I'll be uh, flipping this as well. Uh, a couple more figures. This is Ghostbusters. Um, they don't look anything like the actual Ghostbusters from the movie so I'm not even sure which one this is. This might be Venkman. Kind of looks like him. Uh, I did not collect the Ghostbusters line y'all so I cannot really tell you. Oh. Here's his, uh, his little action. Interesting. Uh, this is also Ghostbusters. This is one of their ghosts, as you can see. He flips up like that. I don't remember what he was called. Something to do with like a highway patrolman type thing. So, interesting. And last but not least, I got one of the main bad guys for the uh, Karate Commandos. Or is it Commanders? I don't remember. I think it's Commandos. And I believe this is a little weapon of his also. No, nope. Yeah, that's a bat. So that's a Batman thing. But uh, Super Ninja, I think is what this guy's name is. I don't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, he was one of uh, the guys going up against Chuck Norris and all of his uh, international karate guys. So uh, an interesting lot. A very nice lot. Uh, a lot of really good Super Friends stuff with DC. Um, and uh, some really good uh, X-Men characters as well. Thanks for checking out Tim's Toy Box uh, this edition, y'all. Uh, a lot of good Marvel stuff, a lot of good DC stuff. Uh, stay tuned to the YouTube. We're at uh, close to, uh, getting close to 400 subs. So once we do that, uh, I don't know, we'll keep going. So stay tuned for more toy stuff. We're gonna be bringing it to you, hopefully every week.